advertising and website design and development. Be ahead of the competition. Don't be left behind. Ready to get started? Contact us now and get free consultation. Free consultation. Call us at 624-7255 or visit our website at www.emergelocal.com. How do you hustle throughout your period? Ladoo's tampons is my secret. Huh? What are tampons? A tampon is used for sanitary protection during menstruation. Really? Is it safe to use? Of course! It will protect you from leaking and give you the freedom to do whatever you like. You will feel more secure during your red days. Got your period? No worries. With Ladoo's tampons, these will protect you from the inside. No more leaks. Available in selected stores and www.lazada.com.ph. Change from traditional napkins and switch to Ladoo's tampons. Softer and safe. Being stuck in the middle of a jam doesn't have to suck anymore. Because Dwayne Rush will keep you company during On the Fast Lane with Dwayne Rush. Roll in from Monday to Wednesday, 5 to 7 p.m. And Saturday, 3 to 5 p.m. Only here on UFM 105.5. You're on the right side. A music high like no other. Yo, what's up? I'm Becky G. I'm me up inside like the 4th of July. Whenever you're around, I always sing to 105.5. This side of the nation playing the hottest songs on the planet. You're on the right side. I'm still Atlas on the microphone. I know I've been away for quite some time. But I did promise to have some... I, I used the word special a while ago. So I guess we can say special to the highest level this time. Because a while back we had Tanya, Prisha, and Irina. Three of them are contestants. Of the uh, fiercest of them all, it's the latest show that will uh, be piloting on March 5, 2017. That's a Sunday, 9 p.m. on GMA News TV. And that, folks, is just scratching the surface. And this time we'll be uh, getting into the meat of things. Of course, we have, from my right, if you're watching via ACCTN Channel 6, we have Mana, another contestant of the show. Welcome. Hi, hello. So Hi. why don't you tell us about yourself? Sure. My name is Mona Lisa and I'm one of the contestants of the new reality TV and fantasy show, the fiercest of them all. Awesome. Well, of course, we have the writer and producer uh, producer of the show, Mr. Eno. Yes. Hello. <laughs> well, guys. And last but not least, <laughs> hey, I did promise this, right? We have the Diana Meneses here on UFM 105.5. She will be hosting the show. Yes, that's right. Hi, everyone. It's, it's everything. It's like acting. It's uh, being with these guys, you know, like being with the girls. And they're like so strong. It's like, what? Wow. We can't curse here, right? N no, we can't. <laughs> okay, Unfortunately. I might, I, uh, yeah. <laughs> so it's a challenge. It's a stig, you know? Yeah, it's a stig. Because <laughs> I want to say something. <laughs> you can say a stig. Okay, a stig. Yeah. And, of course, to our director, Mr. Martin, Yo. what can we expect from the show? Um, okay, so it's a reality show, right? So there are going to be challenges. And you're going to see these girls, like, go at it. They're going to be... You can see how bad they really want the prize in the end. And you'll see how intense the challenges are. And that, that's not the only thing that makes the show different. Um you'll see that there's something special about this and it's the fantasy element and I really hope um, you guys enjoy that because it's the first of its kind in the country so I'm pretty excited about that you know yeah uh, there's a lot to expect from the show because it's as Martin said it's really the first fantasy reality of its kind I think not just in the country but in the world because it's something completely new and um, Martin and I are really proud of it because it's not something that we planned from the beginning it's something that just happened along the way as all the best things in the world happen and I think uh, you know people will really get hooked wow that's awesome and what was your inspiration by the way <laughs> That's a good question. Good Martin, you want to ask? Honestly, um, when I was a kid, I used to I used to play a lot of uh, video games, um, like role-playing video games. I'm an RPG. 
PG, so. right? Okay, <laughs> like, just imagine a video game. Imagine you're in a real life video game. So this is how I'm 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 looking at reality TV and um, per reality. <laughs> <laughs> nice. yeah, that's a whole nother <laughs> level right, uh, right there. I mean, what about Mona? She is the actually the last contestant, and she's joining us right now. A while ago, I asked them about their monikers. I believe we have the pare of the show. <laughs> <laughs> we have the uh, pusher, right? The pusher. Push lang ng push, and then the teacher. <laughs> what about you, Mona? What's your moniker? What is it, guys? <laughs> God, we just here. called you Surfer Girl. Yeah, they call me Surfer Girl. Why is that? Is that I because surf. you don't surf? I do surf. <laughs> oh, Not she just does. the internet, right? <laughs> but the waves. I'm a surfer. I'm a yogi, I'm a raw food vegan chef, um, I'm very athletic, I like to believe. Uh, on the right side. So, vegan, huh? Yes. Tell me about yeah, it. It's purely <laughs> plant-based. Yeah, we were talking about vegetarianism earlier and you were asking about where would you get your protein from, right? Uh -huh. When you're vegan. So, I don't eat any animal products or byproducts whatsoever. Mm -hmm. So, um... I get all my protein from amino acids. And mm. amino acids are only found in the plant kingdom. Or if you get them from animal flesh, it actually has been built out of amino acids and then converted into protein through metabolic processes. So I'm going straight to the source, mister. Okay, <laughs> let me just process that a little bit. <laughs> so is being a vegan an advantage among all the other ladies? Yeah, because you're getting first-hand protein building blocks, which are the oh. amino acids. What can oh. you say about that? <laughs> so she has an edge already because she's a vegan. Uh, yeah, we saw that edge actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can't wait for you guys to see it. Yeah. So you you already did some some shoots, I believe. Yeah, right. And yeah. of course, why don't you tell us about some of the challenges? That are in store for us. Oh, before I tell you guys about the challenge, please go to our Facebook page. It's the first of them all. You can like it, see a little bit more about the girls. But I think going back, yes, we did shoot quite a bit, a lot. And um, it's very exciting because nothing was scripted. So mm -hmm. there's no spills. It's all like whatever they think about last minute. Wow. So everything goes. Yeah, anything goes. Of course, the challenges, they think about it first and then they do it uh, as planned. Mm -hmm. But nothing goes as planned while they are <laughs> doing their challenges. Man, nothing that's tough. Goes as planned. That is tough. And you know what? Of course, uh, some of our listeners might be thinking, ah, this is just another spin-off of, let's say, what? America's top model, right? Absolutely how not. How different? <laughs> how, yeah. I agree. Now, going there, how different is it from such shows? Well, um, yeah, how different is it? It's really very different because, um, as mentioned, it's a mixture of fantasy and reality. In America's Next Top Model, you get modeling, like the sanitized version of modeling and just the real world version of modeling. Mm -hmm. Here you have modeling in all its, you know, warts and all. The ugly side, the good side, the happy side, the bad side. But you also have an added element of it being a fantasy. So it feels like you're in an RPG game while you're doing a modeling show. So it's very wow. weird. So we beat America's Tech Top Model when it comes to weirdness. <laughs> yeah. I think that's a good sign, right? I mean, coming from a guy, I, I have a sister. She watches uh, America's Top Model and after 10 minutes, I'm just snoring, <laughs> right? I'm, I'm going to have to be honest. And of course, I'm not the only one for sure. Now, can you tell us uh, the people who are like me, right? Ah. How can you sell the show to someone like me? Okay, okay. One, one way of describing the show is that um, you're going to see uh, a contest among models, but it's not about beauty. It's not a, it's not a beauty contest. Oh, not about beauty so, at all. Uh, it's a test of really what's inside them as, as women, as human beings. Their strength, their characters. And um, that's what makes it unique. It's, uh, it, it, it lets people see women in a whole different light. And, and a lot of these women have very very moving stories you know individually mm -hmm. i mean they are very are strong. you going to show the backstories of the ladies you're going to see and hear them speak about themselves mm -hmm. as well yeah and um, you can see that behind the beauty the obvious beauty already is a is a, is a really strong spirit there's know? something deeper there's something deeper and mm -hmm. um, i think that 
alone sets it apart from all kinds of modeling competition shows. Man, I'm pumped. Yeah. Right? I don't yeah. usually say this when it comes to, <laughs> you know, such shows, but I'm pumped. I'll be, you know, looking forward to it. When will the fiercest of them all be airing? On March 5th. Yeah, and mm -hmm. then very close now. It, it seems like antagal because we want to see it already. But you know, it's just around the corner. Like February is already there. And like uh, it's going to be in March 5, every Sunday, 9 p.m. on Jimmy News uh, TV. And um, yeah, I think we're going to go mainstream because it's too good to be true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, that's what I think. And I, I, I dare them to not... Because I'm sure they will. Oh, my gosh. You know <laughs> that's what? How, that's how good th this production works. Yeah, I have that feeling, too. I mean, talking to you guys right now, I feel the chemistry, right? And I'm sure all of our listeners feel that as well, right? Even uh, right in front of their radios. Going back to Mona here, sure. right? Why don't you invite our listeners to come see the show? Hi everyone, I'd like to invite you to watch the show beginning March 5 at 9 p.m. on GMA 7 and tune in for the following episodes of The Fiercest of Them All. And mm -hmm. follow her on Instagram. Oh, follow her. <laughs> yes. Follow her. Awesome. What's your Instagram? My Instagram is Mona Lisa Newbeck. Okay, that's a German um, family name. Lisa, like the painting, Newbeck, N E U B O E C K. I heard you do some impressions a while ago. Please. <laughs> the director no, says so. <laughs> we have one girl missing today. and But um, to all of you there out there who aren't watching this online, um, I'm going to go get her for a second. Wait. Christina? Christine? Christine? Yes? What's up? Christina, can you say hello and invite the listeners to uh, watch The Fiercest of Them All? Oh, yes, I would like to do that. Okay, everyone. So, can you please watch The Fiercest of Them All starting March 5 at 9 p.m. on GMA7? I'll be there too and I'll spread my German e uh, energy so you all can listen and watch. And I hope you'll enjoy very much. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my God. That is fantastic. Why don't we give her a round of applause? Thank you so much. Thanks, so, who Christine. is that girl again? Her name is Christine. Christine. Yeah, I'm Unfortunately, from Germany. Unfortunately, she's not here. Right? But no. if you want to. Uh, <laughs> nine, nine. If nine. you want to see all of our contestants, how many do we have? Ah, there's a twist in there. There's twelve. Oh, twelve. Twist. Yeah. Yeah. Twelve, but it might be what? Twenty-four. But they're yeah. not all women. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> you heard it first on UFM 105.5. Yeah. Not all of them are women. Some of them could be, you know, creatures from the swamp or the mountains. Yeah. Or some animals oh, also. Yeah. By the way, we didn't mention. Uh, everything was taped. Maybe the girls mentioned earlier. In Camp Kanawan in, in Bataan. Oh, not yet. Tell yeah, us about in Morong it. Bataan. It's a w wonderful place. And so they were all stuck in the gubat. So can you imagine a modeling, modeling, which is nothing compared to the ones that are coming up? Because this one is like totally creative. We're not, we're not like going for the posing. Uh -huh. No, no, there's no such a thing. It's like all about how smart you can be towards the industry and in the forest. And, and how you can cope up with the mosquitoes. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's their problem, you know, like we just throw them there and then if they can't make Man. it, they're not fierce. Because yeah. we also have to be under the Absolutely. the sun, you know, and mm -hmm. like with mosquitoes and we have to do our job. And that's that's the challenge, that's the trick. And I believe that is exactly the reason why it's entitled The Fiercest of Them All, right? It's really going to challenge each and every one of the 12 contestants. Again, it's going to be showing... On GMA News TV, starting March 5, mark your calendars right now, Sunday, 9 p.m. And if you want to view the profiles of the contestants, again, you can do so. Yeah, we can. you guys can go to our Facebook page. It's... Wait, I'm not going to manicure, so I'll just... Here we go. That's how fierce we have to be. It's... At the fiercest of them all on yes. Facebook, like the page right now. I'm, I guarantee you're not going to regret it, folks. And please like the the girls. Oh, your picture, Mona, is the most liked. Oh, is it? <laughs> oh, yes, yes, it is. So you guys can like kind of vote for the girls you like, you know, because mm -hmm. they have wonderful, uh, you know. I've seen some pictures. of them. Oh, you did? Yeah. 
Awesome. Did very, you like very him? beautiful. Absolutely. <laughs> I mentioned a while ago that I was watching Miss Universe and I don't know. Looking at the ladies we have right now, it's just my opinion, my humble opinion. They're prettier Ooh. than those on TV <laughs> yeah. this morning. I'm not kidding you, folks. Again, you're listening to UFM 105.5. Any last words from our ladies here? Let's begin with, with Mona. Yeah, just, you know, tune in, stay real, and get inspired, inspire others. That's what we're here to do, right? Sir Eno. Yeah, okay, so um, just watch the show, support the show, like our Facebook page, and I'm sure everybody who watches it will be absolutely entertained. Mm -hmm. And Direct Martin? Yeah, so it's a first of its kind. Um, be part of it, experience it, follow it, um, and, I, and trust me, it's going to go beyond just TV. You'll see it all over social media, you'll see it on your mobile phones. Um, it, the show will follow you as well, so... I hope you get inspired as well by this show. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, of course, the host of the show, Miss Diana Meneses. They said it all. I just want to ask you guys to please check it out and then let us know if we we surprised you a little bit. I'm or sure. We made I'm you, sure you will. Or we made you crazy because that's our goal. Oh, <laughs> Your wildest dreams will come true come March 5, 2017. My name is Atlas. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you. Anna, Martin, Eno, and Mona for dropping by the station. Coming up next, we'll be playing the uh, official theme song. Uh